perched in a northern mountainous village in Portugal. This house, once teeming with life, now sits eerily abandoned. Its foundation stone was laid in 1928 and it became the cherished home of the Pereira family. Mr. Manuel, a doctor immersed in both medicine and politics, was the last to grace its rooms. A man who found solace in music's embrace. In 2015, Mr. Manuel passed away and the house fell into desolation. Despite being inherited by two family members, they've turned their backs, leaving it prey to the unrelenting elements. Today we embark on a journey to uncover the remnants of the Pereira family and their once vibrant home, now a forsaken relic in this tiny Portuguese village. Dusty memories linger within its walls and the echoes of laughter and music whisper through time, telling the story of a family's life and love left to fade into history. So, another day, and we're in a beautiful landscape over here in Portugal. About to go to another location, and yeah, it's an amazing place. I've already been there two years ago. I've heard it got a little bit vandalized, so we're gonna try to restore the damage and explore another wonderful place. Well, I haven't been there, so for me it's new. I, I wanna see it, man. Yeah, like the barn doors are, it actually looks like they got damaged, like somebody actually forced them and slammed them because when we visited it there were horses in the garden and that door was 100% closed. We took this little route over here going down. Want to do the same or just no. the door? I mean it's literally just a walk in the door right now. Apparently the person that lived there was very prominent in politics and the place has been abandoned for 25 years already. Since the last time when we were outside we actually met this very kind man on a bicycle and you're gonna see the footage of that right now. Uh, can you ask him if he knew the owner? Uh, tu conociste al dueño, al doctor. O doctor, eu conheci o doctor, mas ele já faleceu há muito tempo. Já, já... Já para aí há, há 30 ou 40 anos. Há 40 anos. Era, era doutor juiz. Doutor juiz? Juiz do tribunal. Ah, vale, vale. Juiz. Então havia um doutor vivendo. Sim, sí, mas é doutor de enfermaria ou doutor de enfermaria? Não, doutor de, 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 leis, de ah, leis. de leis. Ah, vale, de leis. É políticos. Ah. Like políticos, yeah. So he was in politics, prominent yeah. in politics. Okay. Uh -huh. Wow. Vale, vale. Is it abandoned for a long time? Eh, 
¿Cuánto tiempo lleva abandonada más o menos la casa? Uh, hay por ahí 20, 20 años. 20, 25 años. Sí. Oh. 20, 25 years. Wow. Es lungo. <laughs> Mucho lungo. Uh, and why are they not doing anything with it? ¿Y por qué no se vende la casa? ¿O se hace algo con la casa? No, no, los dueños no quieren. Tienen herderos, tienen herderos, pero los herderos no hacen caso de esto. Tienen herderos, tienen familia. Sí. Más, más nuevos, va. Más no están acá, están, no sé dónde están, están, están para fuera, para el extranjero, no sé mm -hmm. dónde. Sí. Yeah. Sí, yeah, they don't care anymore about the house. Okay. They just left the house. And uh, was it a big family that lived there? La familia era muy grande. No, era pocas personas. Pocas, pocas personas. Pocas. Okay. Una, una o dos. Few, few people, like one or two. Okay. Vale. Mucho interesante. Pues muchas gracias. gracias. Por la Mucho obrigado. 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 <laughs> Adiós. Buen día. Adiós. Buen gracias. Día. That was amazing. <laughs> what, did, what did he tell you? Uh, like the, last the long part, conversation. The, the last part, I then uh, he told me about the that this village and the other ones are like the most, like the more um, the older ones of Portugal, and that there is also like I think it's not abandoned, but he told me that there is a very big house like in the uh, down this hill that right. are. Uh, from the ministers or I don't know what of Portugal. All right. <laughs> yeah, but I think they live there, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's not a good idea to I think to we should not uh, infiltrate <laughs> inside uh, your property. Uh, not this year. Not but, this year. Uh, <laughs> Maybe yeah, in 100 only, years. Yeah, yeah. The owner of the house was, um, yeah, like a politic or a very famous politic. A famous uh, one? Yeah. At I least mean, the prominent maybe one. Maybe 50 years ago. I yeah, don't know. yeah. Uh, it's incredible yeah, how like, times can change. I think it only has right now like one or two own owners, but they don't know nothing about them. I mean, they they just disappeared. Yeah, they don't care anymore about the house. Crazy. Yeah. Well, this definitely adds up to the story. At least we know more now about this yeah. house. It's amazing to to hear the stories of local citizens, mm -hmm. residents. Yeah, he was very friendly. Yeah, he was like, oh, fotografía. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bueno, obrigado. And now back to the infiltration. Looks like the horses escaped. The place is just wide open. Yeah, there used to be three horses over here in the garden. They're just gone now. Well, let's hope the place is actually still open. Crazy. It was so much more difficult two years ago. We need to do a little climb. Ah, oh, yeah, but this is. Um, oh, yeah, it's just a bottom. Just a bottom, yeah. Yeah, I remember that right now. I think, I'm not sure. I think those doors are closed. There, bro. Find out. You'll find out. It does feel unstable. It opens to the outside. Yeah. No, it doesn't. They do. Yeah. Let's check the other side. Maybe we gotta climb the balcony. time the doors were just open but they look pretty close right now and the shutter is behind it too oh yeah gotta do your job on climbing yeah look on your left are you looking at you I don't care Nice. Huh? Close it up again. So, as you saw, we entered the building and we came in. Vandalism isn't that bad of after all, actually. And it's a cute place. It has five rooms. I do honestly really like it. 
And there are many details we can definitely pan out. For sure, it's a very charming place. Yeah. It's been built, as it says on the top, in 1928. Unbelievable, right? I mean, it's still a long time. And it's a pretty cool, honestly, to me, quite modern design for 1928. Yeah, but I do really love the wooden ceilings. As always in Portugal, the wooden ceilings are just fantastic. Exactly, man, exactly. So yeah, let's just start over here in the corner. We actually have this corner bench. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's also quite comfortable. <sighs> yeah. There used to be a painting over here. You can tell there was still a nail. That one is missing. Maybe it even fell down because of decay. Could Who knows? Be. Who knows? Could be. Well, and then you have the painting over there as well. Very Some abstract. Fruits. Yeah. Retro. <coughs> and then the Portuguese chair with the encarved leather. It's uh, quite fancy actually. A little Vase. cow statue over there. Oh, I haven't even saw it. A little over here. Oh. Yeah. Even though you would say pristine, I'm telling you, you can see the dust marks. This entire cabinet was complete and full. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there are definitely some things missing. Unfortunately, that's inevitable when the wrong people go. Inside of these places. But I'm still very happy to see that this place is nonetheless beautiful. I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. Oh yeah, for sure, man. I mean, say it's a cute place. Oh, what do we have down here? Wait, let me grab some light so we can see better. All right, Christmas decorations. Mm. Some seeds to plant some carrots. <laughs> And this one is empty. Last one, also empty. What is that thing actually over there, man? You haven't seen it, but what is that? Moving. Hmm. Like, what is it? I don't know. It looks like a little pocket radio or something, honestly. All right, all right. Hmm. Yeah, I do think so. I do think the same, man. Oh, beautiful sun coming in. <laughs> the weather today is quite strange. Yeah, the, the, it's I'm cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny. Still wearing my jacket because it's not that hot actually. Uh, so. Well, you can definitely tell that yeah, this was the dining room. Yeah, 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 yeah. The main salon of this place. The main dining room, man. As you can tell. The bottle over here, and I just always love the covers of these bottles. Binoculars. Is this silver? Well, wait, I'm in the light. Is that silver? Mm, it's probably. It's rusty. It's only like... Yeah, it's not really uh, damaged. No, no, There no, is no. some oxidation happening, but... I do think that's real silver then. Cool, very cool. Probably expensive. Well, actually, show this to them. Yeah, that's cool, right? Wow. Game of chess over here on this table. It's crazy. It's a cool table, actually. Quite unique. Yeah, you don't often see them like this. No, no, no. Another one of those upholstery chairs. Exact the same one. Another painting, very abstract again. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you look closely, it's actually this mansion. Street sides, that's the mansion over here. And this blurry part would be the balcony where we climbed. It is this property. All right. Do you see it? Yeah, I do see it. It's quite strange. Okay. I actually honestly think that's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, what do we have over here? Dark detail. <laughs> Angel. And uh, this uh, very cute uh, bottle holder. Yeah, actually for a bottle of cognac or Couvrasier. Yeah. Vinegar. Again, silver? I think so, or maybe brass. Yeah. It's cool, man, it's very cool. I also really like this over here. 
refrain from the Last Supper. The Last Supper, all right. You see me struggling with that uh, during this complete portal trip. The Last Supper. Okay. <laughs> well, and then a little... Clothing rack? Well, it's for Jens, yeah, right? It's yeah. a goat rack, yeah. Goat rack, yeah. This would have probably been the, the mm. main back door of the property where yeah. they would come in. Would hang up the jackets right here. And then we have the painting over there of the sea. Well, and as you can tell, right over here on the floor, it's just their stuff. Like they took it out, flashlights, just some ill equipment. Also, here are the newspapers. Let's see for a day. Yeah. The man told us that we met on the street the last time 25 years. But that honestly sounds too long, honestly, for such minimal decay. Other side, bro? No, here, here. Is there? 2003. 2003. Well, so that is actually 20 years. Almost 20 years, yeah? almost 20 years. All right, all right. Well, now we're continuing and we have some fake flowers over here. Look at the wonderful arcs. Cool, man. The sun is beautifully falling inside right now. Oh, crazy. Stuffed fox. Yeah. <laughs> Very well easier, actually. You don't often see taxidermy in a place in Portugal. No, 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 it's very uncommon. It's so much more common in France. White mole on the secretary's desk. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Light, ah, oh, it's to turn on a light. All right. Well, then we have the bed over here, still made up. And... Some more frames on the some wall. Some more frames, yeah. This old hunters, man. It's cool, man. It's very yeah. cool. This definitely looks like a bygone era. Mm -hmm. Over here, a little nightstand with a game of dominoes. Yeah, the domino game, yeah. <laughs> Plenty yeah. of frames over here, so maybe those are the frames that are actually missing. Yeah, probably. In the probably. salon. I believe this one was actually in the salon. It's also very beautiful. I just like these old frames, man. Definitely going to get that in my home. Well, man. but then the main eye catcher in this room. It's oh. actually right over there. And look how this has been made. It's super unique. It's like a little shrine with a religious cross and then just the door, busts and everything of stone, Very plus cool. the ceiling. That makes this room so beautiful, bro. Yeah, 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 it does. It really does. Damn, I haven't even seen that, honestly. It really gives this, uh, like, Holy vibe. Uh, yeah, for sure. The also, importance of religion back in that time. Yeah, man. Also this uh, ornament over here. Damn. And it's very beautiful, actually. <coughs> well, and then more. We can see no another aerial picture of the house again. They definitely love their home. This was it. Now, apparently there are still two owners of this place. But they're sadly enough not caring at all. That's what the man told us. Yep. He lived very close to here. Well, some booze inside. Yeah, yeah. As you can tell. This the, the Portugal. Telephone book. Yeah. <laughs> And some other books, of course. Oh damn, it's a big one. But not really any very old books. No, no, not really. No, 
All right, close up. Also, not really any clothes left. No, actually not. Yeah, no, not so many clothes. And as you can tell, the cabinet's like well, it's the completely skewed. It's completely skewed, man. Close to collapse. Yes. Very close to collapse. Well, then, right next to this bedroom, there's another one. There's another bedroom. I think we're gonna need some light in this place. So. All right. You may lead the way, bro. Oh yeah. The blue room. So yep. probably that one was for a woman, this was for a man. That one was the pink room. This now we're in the blue room. Also the blue uh, bed sheet. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly matches with the color of the walls. Not a mirror hanging up there, another door. It's actually leading to the patio on the back side. Yep. Where we were standing. Surely before. Is there something inside? Nah, it's also emptied out, man. You can just tell that these people really don't care about this place anymore. Like, it's just empty out and that's it. It's probably looted even. <laughs> yeah. Well, you said. You know, like when burglars come, they don't come to damage or vandalize the place. That's no, you. No, no. Burglars just check all the drawers for valuables. But what did you want to say? The painting, man. Yeah. It's, uh, it's also very unique. It is, it tells a story, right? Yeah, man. A cold winter day, they went to hunt, kids holding a rabbit. And they're, all they're about the to uh, go inside again Yeah. and uh, enjoy their feast. <laughs> Actually, look over here, so neat. Oh, yeah. This little sitting corner. Yeah, man. Right in front of the, the windows. I've seen it in Spain before one time as well. So it, it's really made to just sit over there? Sit and relax, just watch outside the garden oh. or like the street side in this case. All right, all right. Be careful with the floor over here though. Yeah, bro, I see it. You need to be careful. Whole shoes over there. Yeah. Well, and then we have this cabinet. Let's see, some paint. <laughs> Thermal mix, it's a heater, portable heater. Well, and I do think, yeah, I can open this one up. Yeah. Nothing really special. Let's see. <laughs> oh, look. It looks also quite unique, and yeah, the mirror. It is. Two vases right next to it. It's some different wooden furniture as what we've seen in most Portuguese homes so far in this trip. And not a door again leading to the outside, to the back garden. Yeah. I really just love these lights. And again, over here. You could just sit down, relax, and look at those candle holders as well. With the tree trunk, the two figurines. <laughs> it was actually crazy when the horses were here, bro. Yeah? Yeah, it was crazy. They were like running around all the time. They were like, what are those explorers coming to do here? Yeah, 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 yeah. they probably be It was like, very funny for the video. Yeah, 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 of course. I could think that it would be a fun video, man. But I got it with Mimo. <laughs> Bronze, I think. I do think so. What's this? This thing over here. It was an ornament. It's no, just it's crazy. If you lift this up, you can tell this has been standing here for ever time. since abandonment. That's what we mean with untouched. <laughs> yeah, really. Well, I can't close it up, man. No, 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 just leave it. It was already like this. We, are we finally have some letters. It's pretty hard to tell, but... 
gave it a very specific hand training. You see they also refer to him as doctor. That's also what the man said something about doctor. I believe he was a doctor and he was prominent in politics. Yeah, he was probably in politics then. Eh? That's what he also said, but also like the doctor. Pereira is saying over there. Madame Pereira Madame or Pereira. Probably his woman, his wife. Yeah, this is all just vanished, man. Let's see. If there are still some good ones, I do think they're all just like completely vague, completely vanished. Yeah. Time is done, a sting. Yeah. Let's look. Is this from a newspaper? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to destroy it. And this one? Over here we can definitely find a date. 1931. Bro. It's even before wartime, man. That's like three years after this place was constructed. Crazy, right? I can't believe it. There's newspaper still inside there. It's one of the first things that ever uh, went inside of this place. Yeah. Yeah, bro. There was, they're all just completely vanished. I mean, we'll maybe find some more letters. Empty. Empty. And dusty. Empty too? Yeah, only a cover. Damn it. I'll go, bro. <sighs> that was heavy. Right. Well, like Marina said, the door right over here. And then, I do think we have a wardrobe. Should there be some clothes left? Well, mostly pillows and blankets. Yeah. And this part. Same over here as well, man. Yeah. Well, at least we tried looking mm -hmm. for some clothes. <laughs> it also learns you a little bit about the taste, you know, and mm -hmm. what these people wear. Exactly, exactly. Maybe we will find something. I mean, uh, then uh, let's continue. Yeah, let's only show the ceiling to, oh, yeah, to yeah, close yeah, yeah, up yeah. with. You can see the severe damage over there. Major hole. And also some very nice carvings in the center. Very, very nice. Another perspective of that wonderful living room. And we're gonna continue away to the other side of this home right now, to another bedroom. Three bedrooms in total. They probably had two or three children. And actually this is a little bit vandalized, but I have to tell as well, that was already the case. All right. This room was a little bit trashy when we visited. Okay, well, it's quite sad to see, actually. Well, let's just start over here. It's wonderful embroidery tapestry. Also still a lot of details over here on the nightstand. <laughs> Some candies. Olio de Cedrio. What's that? Maybe some sunbathing oil. Yeah. The vase over there. And they have this yeah. all over the place, these benches in front of the windows, so mm. have a seat. They uh, really enjoyed uh, their... Uh, they could really decide what view they wanted. Exactly, man, they could really enjoy the view over here. Well, what I found in the bed... Can you maybe this? open the shutters over there as well? Yeah, you don't think so. Ah, look at that. Ivy is covering it. Yeah. What is this? 
You know that, I need to find a name right now. <laughs> we should, bro. Nah. I think I, I also found a name the last time. Nah, a, a contract, contractor. Yeah, it's nothing really like a letter or anything personal. Not exactly. Well, there are definitely some other personal things left over here. I mean, and we finally have some clothes. That's what I want to say. Like, there are finally some clothes. As you can tell, man's clothes. Yep. They're all just hanging over here. Also, all the ties. A lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And they also love listening to music, apparently. Yeah, they did. Surely Bessie, all by myself. All by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's from her, but... Uh... Well, let's hope so, otherwise <laughs> you will definitely hear it in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> let the people say it, let the people say it. Then we have this uh, beautiful vanity, and wow, look there at this. is a picture. Yeah, finally. Of the woman. woman. Probably the mom living in here. Also, the camera. The camera. They love making pictures. They like listening to music. Well, they also definitely like their perfumes. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Massimo Dutti in the back. It's over here. A clump and a ship. I've never seen it. It was a little light, I believe. That's a little lamp. A unique design, man. Shoes over here. Strange place for shoes in a drawer. Yeah, man. And over here also, these are for women. So, yeah, this was probably women also living in there. What's this for? I don't know, but what is the design actually? Because I also saw it in the other place we did today. Is it like something typical Portuguese or? Well, let's ask the Portuguese and Brazilian viewers. Or maybe even the Spanish ones. What is this? Probably an ornament. But is it like typically from this country? Just leave it out. Yep, exactly. Well, yeah, then uh, besides all the trash you can see, it's just mainly clothes, um, blankets, bed sheets. So that already brings us to the final room over there. Yeah, man. Well, only this part, as you can tell, flashlight. Some other books. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> oh, it's um, a German book. The Abenteuer des Braun Soldaten. Damn. It's pretty cool, actually. A German book. Bro. Oh, wait, here. Here do we have some pictures. But it's from the nature side. It's no personal pictures. Maybe they made them with the camera we saw. Yeah, I do think so. Even a dog. So they probably had a dog. Is that inside of here? That's what I was already wondering too. No, man. Doesn't look like, right? Doesn't we look haven't like seen it's such a table. No. Oh, wow. But that's the house. Yeah, that's here, man. Wow, that's the balcony we climbed. <laughs> Another one. It's all over the places, man. Look, a farmer even. Crazy. Bad photo. Yeah. They just really tried to make some pictures, I think, and then see how they ended up. Uh, just for a hobby. Over here? Ah, look, we have a name. Finally. Um, okay, so Gaspar Manuel. Gaspar Manuel, exactly. That was, the, I think, the man lived there in the last years. Also, yeah, yeah. only clothes were from men. Mm -hmm. Probably lost his wife, sadly enough. Yeah, and, and the children didn't even care about it anymore. So I do think that's uh, like his last, uh, his last bit, man. Yeah. All right. Gaspar Manuel. Gaspar Manuel. <laughs> then you see, then. like, we're almost at the end, and puzzle pieces start falling together. Is this check this out, guys. It's the kitchen. This is what I would call pure traditional. Yeah, this is pure traditional, man. I Purely. Mean, stone oven over there. 
as you can see over here, they used to cook. There, the pans and the pots. Probably so all their tools and stuff. Exactly. Well, there is our stuff, but uh, <laughs> we have the paper, big uh, kitchen roll of paper. Is it actually, do you say that in English? Kitchen, kitchen paper. Kitchen paper, right? The fake flowers. Some cute ware. Also here, tiny cute plate. Pretty detailed, actually. coffee maker <laughs> all still standing here and then uh, they upgraded with a new machine over there in the back and then another one in the back this person <laughs> this is still a lot of glasses over here yeah a lot of it's water. beautiful seeing such an old kitchen with all those stone also look at the sink over here 1918 it's saying so this was made even before maybe this part was built before the actual living part yeah, yeah, was yeah. constructed yeah man it's, it's unreal well this is a small fridge it's a small fridge but it's empty so um, and then we have an I haven't seen these actually quite often. A toaster. Places. A toaster. Oh yeah, the other fridge door has completely fallen out. I'm actually wondering, I think this used to be for food maybe or? Yeah, it's a food storage, man. Whoa, okay. Well, we can definitely find some expiration dates on here. <coughs> oh yeah, for sure. Damn, 2015. That's very strange. And I was just trusting the, the man of the, uh, the word of the man, so. 2016. Let's check out the uh, pulp tomato. Since that would be something a uh, explorer wouldn't take with him, you know. No. Well, I don't think uh, tea either. This is fabric in 2004, so okay, that's the only thing that I can find. At least sense, but maybe this one. 2015, man. So strange. So probably, probably. Maybe your farmer used this this part. I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. To my wet bottle. Oh, by the way, talking about German, that's actually a German quote. Crazy. <laughs> so I think they also had a certain relation with Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be. Some German roots or ancestry. Still some cookies, cookies and biscuits. Of a freezer. So strange. Strange place, man. Well, and then definitely the main eye catcher of this place is this massive stone fireplace. It's uh, very unique, man. It's incredible. A traditional kitchen, like you said. And also the plate still hanging up over here. Yeah, I do really like that. This one and that one right over there with the fruit still on them. Wow. Well. Actually an incredible place, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, unique, but... It's, it's a little uh, bit more modest in size compared to the others ones yeah. we explored, but... Exactly, exactly, but still. still. It's a nice place. Then let's only show them this part. Wait. We have some kettles over here. And the stone oven mm -hmm. that we already mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there, their equipment. Yep. Like you said. Yeah, and the Cyrus is for me. <laughs> Not that people think, oh, there is a new bottle of beer there. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> so, I'm just going to take a seat, man. And uh, I need to say, uh, I like that it was a cute place, in my opinion. Yeah. But 
like, it was a very homely place as well you know like yeah. you can really imagine a family having lived there but what i do hesitate about is um since downstairs the downstairs part we can't see that and it's a big place but it it seems like it just were all barns like just sheds we checked it the last time you can come there like easily through okay. the garden but there was nothing really of interest inside okay 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 so no agricultural vehicles no no cars so then then the cool imagination that the fact it was three sleeping rooms three bedrooms and dining room kitchen dining room and the kitchen simple life simple life man where is the bed up well that's the one we saw outside that's the bathroom Oh yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You often have this in Portugal. It's a Portuguese and Spanish custom. Yeah. Traditional people used to have their bathroom separately from their house. It might sound strange, but imagine how nice it would be if you shower in summertime. You get out and the first thing you see is your garden. All right, yeah, yeah. I do, a peaceful I do. life. I do a think I get life. that. I do think I get that, but I also do think that during winter, when I get out and need to walk outside, and but uh, yeah, <laughs> those are the mountain people. <laughs> crazy, crazy. All right, all right. Yeah, we saw that need. Then a very simple life, a very simple life. In my opinion, a very cute life, and I really liked. I hope you did as well. And if you know, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment right down below. Bring the bell notification button right up there. And then we see you on the next adventure in Portugal. Peace out.